We all have dreams. And to make our dreams a reality, we need hard work, persistence, determination, and resiliency. At the age of eight, I dream of myself driving a beautiful car, gainfully employed, and holding the position of a manager. That was impossible, given the circumstances that I had. But what shaped my dream? What influenced me to make that dream? Well, let me tell you. I was born in the 60s in the southern part of the Philippines in a town called Buluan, Magindana. I'm the second of three children. Growing up, I experienced social and economic disparities. Discrimination and oppression was a way of life. At young age, I learned what it means to be poor. What scarcity and hunger means. We had no running water and we had no electricity. Early on, I was taught that education is important and luck comes with preparation. I attended first grade at the age of five, miles away from my home. I would walk to school under raging heat of the sun and under the pouring rain during months and months. To add to that, the influx of religious and fundamentalists led to tribal conflicts and clashes. There were riots of civil insurgency, followed by rebellion and unrest. Many people died. Many lives were displaced. Many properties were destroyed, and many lives, many dreams were broken. Dealing with the strife of the society became a way of life. Social and economic divide became wider. Worries became worse. Instead of losing hope, I dream bigger. I want to leave my hometown, leave this country, go to the United States and follow my dream. The first opportunity came after I finished high school, grade school. I was at the age of 10. I was offered a scholarship. Seven, at the high school, seven hours away from my home. The scholarship was only for free tuition as well as books. There's no way for us to pay for my board and legend. No way for us to pay for my uniforms. So what will I do? Well, I became creative. I went to a relative and said, in exchange for my board and legend, I do the household chores. So I worked as a housemaid. My day starts at 4.30 in the morning. I would do the cleaning, the cooking, the laundry, doing the shopping if I need to. Then go to my class at 7.30 in the morning. Coming back in the afternoon, I would do the same. And I would do the chores till 10 o'clock at night. But I was determined. It's the way of my life. So, I would be dead tired at 10 o'clock at night, but I still have to study because I, would do, I have to finish my school. So, I finished high school. After that, scholarship lined up. I went to an engineering degree. And after my engineering, I worked for a mining company for Bechtel Corporation. After the Bechtel Corporation, I decided to go back to school and study business and finance. After business and finance, the opportunity to come to the United States came. I came to the United States. After finishing my master's, I decided not to, not to go back. So now, fellow Toastmasters, I am here before you. I followed my dreams, 16,000 miles away from my home, because and my dreams became my, a reality because I held on to the dreams fearlessly, so tight. Thank you.